In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the right front CV axle on this BMW 535i xDrive. This is gonna be located on the right side of the vehicle behind the wheel. Let's get into it. We're gonna remove this panel. Use an eight millimeter socket. Take these screws out. Should be screws over here. There should be another one there. On the front that attaches to the front panel, there's Phillips head screws. Just use a Phillips head screwdriver. Just twist these about 90 degrees. Separate those. And there's a 10 millimeter nut right here. Just use a 10 millimeter socket. Take that off, and the panel comes down. You can pull it right out. Now I'm gonna remove the lug bolts. Use a 17 millimeter socket. Take those out. Before I take the last one out, I'm just gonna hold the wheel on so it doesn't fall. And then grab the wheel. This wheel's stuck on, so I'm gonna put one of the lug bolts on a little bit, just a few threads. Just take a hammer from the back side, just give it a tap. Now it's loose, take the lug bolt out. Pull the wheel off. We wanna loosen up the axle nut, but it's peened over on the side. So we're just gonna take a chisel, just try to bend it back the best we can. Now we're gonna use a 36 millimeter 12 point socket. Just hammer this on. Just cause ours is a little rusty. And take this off. There we go. Take that nut off. I'm just gonna use a punch and a hammer. Just tap the axle loose from the wheel bearing. So it moves. You don't have to hammer it all the way in, but that's good. Now we're gonna separate the ball joint from the knuckle. Take a 24 millimeter socket or a wrench, loosen up this nut. Take that nut off. There's different front end tools you can use to separate the ball joint from the knuckle. We're just gonna use a pry bar, just pry this down and just give it a tap with a hammer right there. There we go. Separate that, twist that down. Now on this lower control arm, there is a connector to a level sensor. We're just gonna disconnect that. Use a 10 millimeter socket on the net. Try to loosen that up. The stud's spinning, so I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter wrench on the stud. Just keep it from spinning. Take the nut off, disconnect the arm, set that aside. Take this nut off, use a 21 millimeter socket and the stud might be spinning. Now I'm gonna use a 21 millimeter wrench on the nut, and then a T40 socket. And 
take the nut off. That's loose enough. Take that off. You want to separate the ball joint. There is special tools if that was still on there. You can use um, different types of pullers. Now we're just going to pull the assembly out. I'm just using an air hammer just to push this the rest of the way. Just pop that out and pull the axle out of the knuckle. Just like that. I'm going to remove this shield, use a 16 millimeter socket. These bolts out. Grab the shield, slide it down. I'm going to take off this lower sway bar link nut. I'm going to use a 16 millimeter wrench. Get that, loosen that up. And then in the center here, use a T30 socket just to hold it from turning. Get that off and then just move that out of the way. Now with a large punch on the back side, the CV axle, just give it a tap. Tap that out. Just grab the axle. You're going to lose some fluid, so put a drain bucket underneath. And just pull it out. There it is. Slide the axle in. Get it lined up. Get that close. Just give it a tap. Make sure that gets lined up. all the way down, slide the axle into the hub. I'm going to have to twist the rotor a little bit. Uh, take the nut, make sure that's started. We'll tighten that down later. Now we're going to top off the front differential because we lost a little bit of fluid when we took the axles out. The fill plug is up here. Use a H14 or a hex 14 millimeter. I'm just going to go around on the outside of the frame. And make sure you have a drain bucket underneath, although none of the fluid should come out. Pull the fill plug. There it is. And take the appropriate gear oil. You can double check your owner's manual. And we're just going to top it off. Light, steady stream. That looks good. I'm going to put the fill plug in. And I'll tighten it down. Snug that down. That's good. Now we'll just clean this up with a little brake parts cleaner. Just wash that away. Take the sway bar link. Slide 
slide that into the sway bar. Get the nut started. And I'll start tightening that down. And we're going to torque this nut to 42 foot pounds. Take the shield, get it lined up, get the bolt started. Now tighten these down. This arm goes through the ball joint, get that nut started. Before we tighten that down, take the other arm and go through the knuckle, get the nut started up top there as well. We're using a pull jack, just get underneath this control arm. Put a little bit of tension on it so that the stud doesn't spin while we tighten this up. Now we'll torque this to 76 foot pounds. Now I'll lower the pull jack. I'll move it to the other arm underneath the ball joint, raise it up. All right, now I'll snug this nut down. And now we're going to torque this nut to 59 foot pounds. That's good. Now you can lower the pull jack. Reattach the level sensor, get the nut started. Put the wrench on the back side. Snug this down. Snug down. Now snug the nut down. I'm going to take two of the lug bolts, get those started. Take the pry bar, get that lined up. Now we're going to torque the nut to 310 foot-pounds. Move the pry bar and take the lug bolts out. Now we're going to take a chisel or a punch and we're just going to peen this over just where the little cutouts are to prevent the nut from loosening up. Doesn't have to be a lot. It's a little bit easier to hammer down, so just turn this this way. Do the same right here. That's good. Now install the wheel. The holes lined up. Take the lug bolt, get that started. Now 
Now we're going to torque the lug nuts to 90 foot pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Just go around again, double check. I'm going to take the shield, get it lined up. And the nut. Get that started. I'm going to take all the screws and get these all started. Now we're going to tighten those down. And if there's more up front, tighten those down. Tighten down the Phillips head screws up front. And you're good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.